the battle for eastern Ukraine begins, President Zelensky vows to stand firm against Russia's onslaught of the Donbass. Ukraine are saying that uh, Russia has launched a large-scale offensive in the east of the country, signalling the start of the second phase of the war. According to President Vladimir Zelensky, a large part of the Russian army is now focusing on the Donbass region. Moscow's forces already occupy large parts of the territory. Our defence correspondent Jonathan Beale reports from eastern Ukraine. This is now the sight and sound of the Donbass. Severodonetsk, another city and another target for Russia's unrelenting bombardment. We can assess now that the Russian troops have begun the battle for Donbass, for which they have been preparing for a long time. A very large part of the Russian army is now concentrated on this offensive. No matter how many of the Russian troops are driven there, we will be fighting. We will defend ourselves. We tried to speak to families taking shelter, but the thump of artillery was steadily coming closer. Well, we just came here to go to a, a shelter, but there's shelling a bit close to us. And so we've had to move out. A lot of crump of artillery going on at the moment. Nothing appears to be sacred when Russia wages war. This, one of the holiest sites in the Donbass, but that didn't save Sviatogorsk's historic monastery from being scarred by a Russian airstrike. The few who've stayed behind have to queue for food. They're not just hungry, though. They're scared. I cry every day. What kind of God would allow this to happen? I cry every day. What kind of God should we ask to stop all this? There is now a strong military presence in this town. Just a few miles down the road, Russian forces are advancing from the north. A Ukrainian soldier shared this drone footage of how they were trying to slow down the Russian columns, blowing up a bridge. But they know more will be coming. We know that Russian forces are bringing reinforcements into this region, but we're doing everything possible. We are ready to repel the Russian occupiers and prevent the capture of our cities. We will stand to the last and defend our homeland. We headed south. The roads eerily empty. Four, five. We soon found out why. Plumes of smoke. Once again, we were within range of Russian artillery. Turn, turn. The constant bombardments also taking its toll on the city of Avdivka. Here, they're praying for divine intervention. Nowhere here is safe within range of Russian artillery. And as we've seen, Russia is pushing forward from the north, from the east and from the south. And there's a real danger that Ukraine's forces here could be surrounded. For now, they're holding out. So too are the remaining citizens of Avdivka, hiding in bunkers. But for how long? Jonathan Beale, BBC News, Eastern Ukraine. Well, let's speak to our correspondent, Dan Johnson, who's in Lviv in Western Ukraine. Dan, good morning to you. Um, let's start with the, the latest there this morning. What do we know? Yeah, there are reports that this offensive has got underway overnight in the east. It's the sort of thing we've been warned to expect for the last couple of weeks, ever since the Russian forces withdrew from around Kyiv and refocused their effort on the eastern regions of Ukraine. And there are reports that the forces have tried to surge forward, have tried to advance their front lines through Donetsk, through Luhansk and the Kharkiv region as well. Those areas have all seen intense fighting in the last few days. People had been warned to evacuate 
And this is Lviv, the city in the west that people had been heading to as a place of safety. But it was around this time yesterday that we saw missile attacks on this city. You actually saw the missiles coming through the sky and hitting buildings uh, over across the city there on the skyline. We know that civilians lost their lives in those attacks. And even some of those people who just arrived from the east of the country, there was a family staying in a hotel that had its windows smashed. A child was actually hit by glass and had to be treated in hospital. And I was also speaking to people over the weekend who were coming back to Lviv from other countries, from Poland, to spend a bit of time with their families over the long weekend thinking that they were safe here. So everyone's had a reminder of just how dangerous it is right across Ukraine. But the real intensity of the fighting now seems to be uh, in the east as Russia steps up its attacks. The other real flashpoint is Mariupol, which Russian forces have again and again tried to overrun, but the Ukrainian resistance there, we're told, still manages to cling on. Let's have a quick look at what the front pages of today's papers are saying. The Times is leading on the announcement from Ukraine's President Zelensky, who says the next phase of the war with Russia has begun. The paper reports the Kremlin is focusing on the large-scale assault in the Donbass region. Start off with the front page of the eye. Their headline there, nowhere is safe as Russia escalates its invasion plan of Ukraine. Now, activists from Greenpeace in Italy took their protest to the high sea uh, in a stunt against a Russian oil tanker. Using a small boat, they managed to write the words peace, not oil, on the side of the tanker. You can see this is video of them doing just that. The activists are trying to urge European governments to stop using fossil fuels.